I mentioned amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, would you know what I was talking about? Maybe not, but if I said Lou Gehrig's disease, then you probably would. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers and joining me in the studio now is Jenica Lancy. She is the Communications Director for the ALS Association Golden West Chapter and Matt Cheney, who is a board member with that same chapter. And thank you both for being here today to talk about ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease as most people refer to it. And Matt, you have ALS. And when were you first diagnosed? How long ago? Well, until I found it is when I noticed a weakness and it took about a year to figure out I have ALS. Okay, so just so that we have Jenica here to help us with a little bit with the translation. So he said 2000 mm -hmm. was the year that you noticed some weakness. Correct. And it took about a year before the diagnosis was made official. What was it that, did you know right away, had there been any history in your family of ALS? None. No, I'm the first the first in your family mm -hmm. to, to be diagnosed with ALS. Did you know anything about ALS when you were diagnosed? Yes. And how did you have that knowledge? Um, I studied physical education at UC Berkeley. He studied physical education at UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley. So you were not, uh, you had heard of the disease, you knew something about the disease, and then when you were, when you were first stricken with it, you, in 2000, what, what was the first thing you did? I mean, I'm sure you, you, you start to, since you knew something about what this disease means, you started to think about what your life was going to be like. Um, not much one can do after diagnosis except prepare for the symptoms. Prepare for the symptoms. Uh, Jenica, if you could just very quickly tell us what is the hope right now for people who have ALS? Well, that's a great question. Um, the short answer is there's lots of hope. A ALS is a debilitating and often fatal neurological disease and most people um, die within two to five years of diagnosis. Um, Matt has been living with the disease since 2001 mm -hmm. so he is a living example of the fact that there are opportunities for people living with ALS and with the ALS Association Golden West Chapter our role is to provide services for people with ALS and their families in 31 counties throughout California and in Hawaii. Now very quickly before we run out of time, you have an event coming up that people can go to your website to find out more about. Just tell us a little about that. Yes, there's many ways that people can get involved in the fight to defeat ALS, but one of them is our Napa Valley Ride to Defeat ALS, which happens every year at the Yontville Veterans Home, which is particularly uh, poignant because veterans at, are at twice the risk of being diagnosed with ALS. Okay. Well, thank you both for coming by today to talk about ALS. Matt, the best of everything to you. Thank you for stopping by today. And thank you for being here as well. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye-bye.